Hey everyone. So after doing the video covering three tools for perfect exposure, I had some people reach out and want me to go more in depth with false color. So I'm gonna break this into three parts. This first video showing you how to set it up and get to this point where you can put on the false color and start analyzing the footage or images. The second video will actually show you what to look for and how to actually analyze it. And the third one will be covering how you apply that when you're on set to get a look you like and keep it consistent throughout a project. First thing you wanna do is find some images or frames that you wanna analyze. I'll link to a few resources down below or you can pull your own stills from a place like Vimeo or YouTube. There's a couple different ones that I like. There's this stills from films, uh, frame filter, and film grab, which is my personal go-to. Once you get in here, you can look through all these images, find some ones you really like, like this shot here, save that image to a folder on your desktop or on your hard drive or wherever, and then move on to step two. And what you wanna do in step two is download DaVinci Resolve 12.5 if you don't already have it. You can go in and hit download, and then you can download the free version here. Now, before you open DaVinci Resolve, you're gonna to wanna to also download Time and Pixels False Color Plugin. Uh, they have a free version and a paid version. I believe the paid version is like $10, and it's definitely worth it because you get all of the customization that you don't get with the free version. So once that's downloaded and installed, what you're gonna to wanna to do is open up Resolve, and then you're gonna to get to a new project. So we'll open up a new project. And then in here, you're gonna to navigate to the folder where you have your reference photos. So I have a folder here with a bunch of them in it. I'm gonna take these, drop them into my media pool. Then I'm gonna jump over to the edit tab, grab all of them again, drop them into the timeline, go to color. Then in here, you can see all of your clips down below. You can see the frame we have currently selected so we can jump around and look at different frames. And then we can also add on the false color. So we're gonna add another node which is gonna to go to add node, add serial node, or you can hit Alt S, that will also add a serial node. You're gonna open your FX window and then scroll all the way down and you'll see the false color 2.2 time and pixels plugin. You can drop that on it and you'll see it updates it with the false color and we also have a scale. Now what I like to do is switch this from smooth to sharp, it gives me a little more definition in the colors that I'm looking at, especially when I'm analyzing a photo. And then what we can do is grab a still from this. That'll save it over here. And now any other photo we come over to, we can just drag and drop this still and it'll put that false color plugin with all the same settings on it. So you can just go through and put this on all of your different images. And once you have that done, jump over to the next video where we're gonna be showing you how to actually analyze the footage using this false color.